I'm sure you've heard about dopamine and adrenaline before, but let's talk about what they are and what they do in your body. So to start off, dopamine is a neurotransmitter in the brain and it's involved in reward and motivation pathways. This neurotransmitter is originally synthesized from amino acids, which you may remember are the building blocks of proteins. It has a substantial role in motor control pathways, and if we see that around 80% of the cells that produce dopamine on our body are dying off, we'll see things like tremors and difficulty starting and stopping movements, which we call Parkinson's disease. Now through the cofactor vitamin C, we can actually convert dopamine to norepinephrine and epinephrine, and these hormones have a significant role in intense exercise. So when we're exercising intensely with a high heart rate, these help us increase our blood pressure, increase vasodilation, and increase energy availability. While this is a good thing during intense exercise when we need to produce a lot of energy and dump blood sugar into the bloodstream so that way we can do activity, it's not so good when we shouldn't be in a fight or flight mode. We'll talk about the other fight or flight hormone, cortisol, tomorrow. Follow for more training tips.